Would you like to generate invoices for your payment forms? Let me show you how. Hey, JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm actually on our features landing page for generating invoices. So in this video, we're going to talk through just a couple ways that you can generate an invoice and how you can customize it. But definitely check out this landing page because there's a lot more information on here that you'll want to check out. So let's head over to my JotForm. So the first thing I want to do is create a new form. So I'm going to go up in the top left hand corner, the orange create form button. And for this, I'm going to start from scratch on the classic form and let's add a few elements. Let's just do the full name email. Then I'm going to jump to the middle tab, the payments. And for this example, let's go ahead and do PayPal personal. Then over on the right hand side, we can see that integration window popped up. So let's go ahead and just do a test PayPal account. And we do want to sell products, but if you want, there are other options as well. Let's go ahead and continue. And here is where we can add our first product. So let's create a new test product number one. Let's just make it zero dollars for this example and we will say test product number one now if you have any images definitely choose an image so that way people know exactly what they are getting if you are only selling that one item make sure that you have this required and we'll choose save We'll click to show and we are good to go. Now you can see the tabs across the top. We have the far right one, which is going to be to invoice. Now we're gonna go ahead and toggle that on to yes. And here is where we can enter in our business information. So let's go ahead and enter in our business name as JotForm. We'll do JotForm at JotForm.com. Keep it simple. If you want to have any notes, we can add notes here. Like for here, it says payment terms or product details would be good here. Again, we can choose a company logo to go on this. So let's go ahead and choose our JotForm image. And now we have our JotForm logo on our invoice. Now let's go ahead and preview. And this brought us over to our PDF editor so we can see exactly what this looks like previewing our PDF. So let's go ahead and toggle this off. If we want to edit, make any changes, maybe changes to fit our branding colors, we can do that. Now, because we haven't had anyone fill this out yet, it's pre-populated with some random information, but let's go ahead, go back to our form and we can scroll down. If we want to attach this to the emails, we can, and we get to choose which one we want that to be. If we want it to go to the notification email, or the autoresponder, we can choose both if we want. Perfect. And then the last piece is going to be generating an invoice number. So if we want that, we're going to go ahead and add a unique field ID. So you can see over on my form, it has added a field for us with that unique invoice ID. Now we can even edit that even more. So if we click on this unique ID, Let's choose the properties and we get to choose what that prefix looks like. So if you have very specific letters or numbers that you would like to include, you can add that beforehand. We can choose random values or sequential numbers. If you want your invoice to be like invoice number one, number two, number three, or if you want it to be random values, you can choose that here. And we get to choose how long we want that invoice to be. So right here it says six. If you want to increase or decrease, we can. And if we want it to include numbers, uppercase and lowercase. And it's as simple as that. Now be sure to check out that landing page that I mentioned at the beginning for more information on generating invoices. If you have any questions, let us know down below in the comments. If you got some value, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.